Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the uh, Moyu Store Stem Battle Tank. <laughs> so yeah, if you remember uh, a couple of, of a review video ago, I made a video of building a robot, uh, sort of steampunk-ish, and that came from uh, Moyu Store. So I've got another one from Moyu Store and this is a tank. I think you can build three different tanks out of this one, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, this comes now in a really heavy uh, cardboard box and as you can see I haven't opened it uh, yet so I'm gonna do it in front of you guys. So yeah, pretty cool. Got the box right here, 930 plus pieces battle tank. I think these are like are the three configuration we can make. I think we can make like a normal battle tank, a missile launching battle tank, and a uh, sort of an anti-air tank. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, the box, got some, I guess, legal stuff in the back, or instructions, I don't know, can't read. <laughs> so, let's open it up. So, i got, just gonna cut it, uh, where is it opening, like here. Alright. Fresh new open boxes. Alright, oh, there you go. And we have like, oh, this is just a paper on top. Oh, it's just a cover. So we have the cover <laughs> removed. So yeah, we open hold this and, oh, we open it from here. So open this up. And open this up and flip it open. And there you go. We have instructions and all the stuff. So yeah, instructions. Yep. Kind of hard to open the, yeah, all the pieces. This sort of uh, different build, not really steampunk-ish, but more like uh, predetermined build pieces. So that's different. I wanted to try this out. So yeah, we got the chassis or the, I think this is a, the uh, top turret. And yeah, side truck, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Looks decent. Doesn't look too complicated to do. Mm, maybe the thing tread. Oh no, no, no. This is the uh, actual truck body. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be. Yeah, this is gonna be a pain. <laughs> All of this. I like to build the the threads. <laughs> we have like what sixty eight threads, sixty seven pins. Ah. This is going to be uh, something. <laughs> so, yeah, we got the tank. Uh, that was the last page. So, yeah, uh, I guess we can't make the, all of the different things. So, we got oh, such a bunch of bowls. <laughs> we got a couple of tools that comes with it. So, we're really tiny, uh, sort of alinky. And we have this part right here. And this is for pushing the pins. So, yeah. Decent. We got all the pins for the tank treads. More pieces. What is this? We got. Uh, don't know. <laughs> we have some more stuff underneath. Yes. I guess this is all the tank treads. And yeah, some cannon piece. So yeah, I'm gonna start working on that. And uh, we'll come back uh, with an update, as I usually do for the building, so. <laughs> All right, let's start this. So, uh, first little update, and we have part of the turret done, I guess. So this will eventually go here. And yeah, this will be the cannon, this will be the turret. We are missing some plating, but uh, yeah, so far so good. This took me maybe an hour to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty solid, really nice, no problem so far. Uh, the tools are great uh, for now, uh, yeah, for the, uh, the, the the bolts and stuff, and they're pretty good. No problem here so far. Uh, just for fun though, I started doing the tank threads 
just because there's so much like the, the whole bag was filled up and I need some parts that were at the bottom and all throughout the bag were just threads so I just figured like and you know what I'm gonna do the tank treads and holy crap this took a while so this we have one completely done they are 68 threads and you have to put the pins in each one of them one by one so yeah it's long <laughs> took me more than an hour just to do all that and uh, yeah it's uh it's cool the result is nice but yeah the instructions eh, they give you how they, they tell you how to do it so uh, I'll just show like they tell you to insert uh, the pin uh, right here like this for now like this and then put the other thread in here and then to use the tool show it to use like this hole right here stick it in and then push it in and you can see it kind of works but then uh, as you get here you get this pin sticking out so you have to push it further and this is how they do it it works it's okay but not the fastest way if you ask me like I figured a way faster way better one so technique so I just take the pin shove it in here for first like this and then I take the next thread and you, you need to be sure like there's some teeth that needs to be all at the same side so yeah you just take it leave it like that and just push it on the table like this and it's already completely done so yeah it's so much faster like that <laughs> take it in plug it in whoops plug it in take the other teeth take it in and whoop, whoop, voila it's all done so you have to repeat this 68 times I got four now so I got 64 more to do so <laughs> yep so yeah, I know the tank treads are way, way later in the uh, assembly, but I just want to get rid of most of the black parts so I can reach the, you know, some over here you have some, uh, uh, you call it the, the, the rings. So I needed the rings, but they were all at the bottom. So yeah, <laughs> empty the bag for all the tank treads and building this. So yeah, like I said, maybe an hour for the, uh, part of the uh, turret and an extra hour or more just for the uh, one single thread so yeah doing the other one now so all right I'll take a little break and we'll continue later on now we got another update and I've completed the turret so it looks like that really cool lots of nice details which I don't know I guess some shimmy some stuff in here the radar so very cool uh, there's a uh, screw right here that isn't bolted anywhere. It's uh, this one in the middle. You can see it vibrate. I put a sticker on it because there's no bolt right now. I guess it's going to be like uh, at the end where you're going to have to put the turret onto the tank. You'll have to screw it back in. So I just put a little tape right here so that the bolt doesn't come off because there's a bunch of stuff right here, the black uh, plastic uh, sort of a, a disc and stuff. So, you know, yeah, I'll put this in. And yeah, uh, we can see how the turret can move up and down, so that's cool. <laughs> I've completed both uh, threads, so yeah, this took a while, but uh, yeah, it's really cool. I like the results, so I guess this will plug in here, and then I'm gonna have to add another pin. And I've also finished like the side of the tracks, so I guess this will just go over here like this and plug in, so. Yeah. We've got uh, some points, so okay, I got I got both sides. So these will be on the outside, I guess. And this will plug will plug in like this. And then you have the threads here with the wheels and stuff. So yeah, it's going along pretty good. Uh, I spent a couple of hours. I, I've lost tra track of time, so I have no idea how long I've uh, worked on this. Uh, be careful when you. Uh, uh, tighten the screws and the bolts together. Don't over tie uh, tighten them because they break easily. I've got one screw right here that got I don't know if you can see with the zoom. One this one got stripped. You can see the bar in the middle. I yeah I tightened it uh, way too much and <laughs> it's stripped. So oh yeah, be careful with that. So yeah, gonna take a little break and continue on later on. So 
Yo, another little update, and I'm almost done. I mean, we uh, I'm at the wheel step, so yeah, it's pretty much all built except for the wheels and threads, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I know the turret was one of the last step, but uh, you had to like fill in here and drop some stuff, so I figured like this would be complicated at the end. Like, I have big fingers, and the tools are yeah. So yeah, it would have been uh, harder to uh, to install. So I just install it real uh, right now. Same thing for these uh, these struts right here. Uh, these uh, tells you to go like to inverse them, like have the bolt underneath. But there's no way like <laughs> to go in. I didn't have the patience, so I just flipped them and have the bolt on top instead of the bottom. So yeah. That's just pretty much it, because the rest is pretty damn good. I mean, looks great. And yeah, the turret does rotate, and we'll have the tank treads next up, so... Yeah, but now my fingers hurt, and they're so, like, all intricate. I have to... <laughs> you have to hold this thing, and then to hold the dryer, and... the. Oh, I mean, it's just my fingers hurt now. Like, so I need to relax a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to continue with this, uh... Well, I'll probably turn, uh, finish this uh, tomorrow, so yeah, we'll get back. And we are finally done. The whole uh, model is complete. And yeah, it was a pretty fun build, pretty uh, easy, didn't have any uh, much trouble. Just before uh, going through the model, I just want to show, like, there's a couple more tools that I didn't notice in the box. So uh, yeah, we have this long reached uh, bolt holder, I guess. So we have it angled up in here. Uh, it did uh, help me a lot in a couple of places where I could reach with my big fingers. <laughs> and we also have like this right here, a smaller wrench. So that helps. And also there was a bag with this. I thought it was a part of the <laughs> model, but yeah, I uh, looking through the page, I didn't know, I didn't see anything with it. So I was wondering what it is. But this is actually a uh, sort of a finger holder bolt thingy. So you just put the elastic uh, right here, I guess, and then you can put your finger in, and then you can put the bolt in here and just hold it while you screw it on the other side. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, actually cool, but uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> I didn't know about it until almost uh, completing the, uh, <laughs> the the model. So yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit too late, but yeah, uh, cool tool nonetheless. And uh, yeah, otherwise uh, we still have a bunch of parts left. Oh, these are just extras in case we break or lose them. A uh, bunch of pins, a whole bunch of screws and bolts. So yeah, since I did strip a couple of ones, uh, like maybe two or three, and it was cool to have some extras, but we have tons of extras. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the tools. But yeah, the tank itself is really nice. Like the tank threads do actually roll, uh, not really on my table, but yeah, they do roll. So it's really nice. This one might be a little bit too, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you have to just unscrew it a little bit to make it loose. So yeah, we have the other side also, which works perfectly. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The turret does rotate, no problem. The can can move up and down. So yeah, it's a really nice built <laughs> quite hefty quite solid so yeah i didn't have any trouble it was a rather easy uh built and uh quite enjoyable uh, enjoyable one so yeah just one thing on the other on the website i i got this from moustore.com i'm gonna put the link in the description go and check it out it's really awesome and uh, but yeah on this the, the web page for the tank it shows like different turrets you have like the single cannon one there's a double barrel one and there's a uh uh, rocket launcher one, but I don't have any parts for those. Like, I'm I, I I don't have any parts left after doing this. So I thought maybe we had the choice of building three different turrets with the same uh, chassis and tank threads and everything. But no, so it's kind of weird for the website to show uh, the uh, missile turrets plus the uh, double barrel one when we all we have is this one. So yeah, it's kind of weird, but uh. Yeah, still nonetheless, really, really cool. Like I said, I got this from Moyu Store. It's not the first time I got uh, orders from them. So, yeah, I highly recommend it. It's a really cool site. They're um, you know, really good prices. Uh, they have tons of build. Like, uh, the last one was uh, my uh, robot 
phone holder thingy and now I have a tank like this and yeah they have tons of stuff plus they uh, there's a 10% uh, rebate if you order and you use the code Steph so that's me S-T-E-P-H and you get 10% off uh, website uh, all this stuff on the website so yeah go and check it out I highly recommend it it's a really awesome build <laughs> I don't know what else I'm going to be doing next, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing more. <laughs> yeah, really cool. I'm addicted with these uh, metal built. They're really fun. So, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. It's just really cool. Awesome. I want to thank Moyu Store for the uh, model. And uh, yeah, uh, like I said, MoYuStore.com. Go and check it out. Steph, 10% off. S-T-E-P-H. Take it. Use it. Have fun. <laughs> Otherwise, you know the song of the, uh, the you know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah blah blah. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.